Hi, Father Paul here at the Sunday Mass, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to celebrate and to pray with us. But before we begin our celebration, I just want to touch on a little issue or problem that we've been having. Perhaps in recent weeks and months, as you joined us on YouTube or on our website, uh, you've seen little ads pop up during the Mass. First of all, I want to personally apologize for this disruption and let you know that this is not of our doing. We don't monetize our channel, so we receive nothing for those ads. But it seems YouTube, in their policies, still continue uh, to put ads periodically on the content that we produce. We are working very hard to solve this problem, and hopefully at some point in the near future, at least on our website, you'll be able to watch the Mass ad-free. If you do watch us on the YouTube channel and have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and become part of the Sunday Mass faith community on YouTube. Again, thank you for your time. Let us begin our celebration. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass and Ministry of the Passionist Community. It is November 14th and it is the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Lionel. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out, turn to the beginning of Mass and let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, trusting in God's mercy, let us pause to call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you give us the light of wisdom and the joy of salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the eternal word. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us on the path to life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. 
In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament. And those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. While there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from the sky, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory, and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree, when its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you. This generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only 
the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we near the end of the liturgical year, our readings turn to the end of times when we hear the powers in the heaven will be shaken and we will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Was Jesus describing events or those events in similar ways, like in films such as Armageddon, the day after, or end of the world? By no means. Today's second reading from the letter to the Hebrews tells how Jesus, our high priest, offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. In this one offering, he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. And we have been consecrated in baptism. When we read or listen to the apocalyptic literature in the Bible that deals with the end of times, such as is found in our first reading and our gospel today, we might become fearful, and that's okay. How could anyone hope to be worthy to enter and participate fully into God's eternal glory? And yet, the author of Hebrews reminds us that it is not our doing that brings about salvation or be part of the fullness of God's love and mercy. Instead, Jesus, in his life, death, and resurrection, has conquered mortality, crushed evil, and now offers us his very own light and life so that we might enter into the joys of his salvation. It's about the rising of a new creation where all our selfish criteria will be shaken. When we focus on our own actions, we might easily become discouraged. On our own, we're not perfect, not sinless, not holy. It is only when we are united with the sacrifice of Christ that we become perfected in his all-encompassing love. The spiritual life does require something of us. And what is that? Our wholehearted yes to being transformed by life in Christ. And also, that we are determined to follow him on the journey of discipleship. Today's psalm assures us that when we do this, we have nothing to fear, for the Lord is our inheritance. And what an inheritance God has planned for his faithful ones. So, my dear friends, this week, let us ponder how we have lived our lives up to this point. In light of the uncertainty of time allotted for us in this life, how would you like to live in this coming year? Now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. God always is willing to show us the path of life. So, with faith, we ask him to hear our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for victims of abuse, violence, and hate, especially the most vulnerable in our country and in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of all nations, that they will recognize the rights of all people, especially the unborn, the oppressed, the immigrant, by honoring the dignity and value of all life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our Sunday Mass faith community that will be placed next to the altar, and for Mary Gil Carazza, RN, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Eternal God, in your great mercy and love, hear and answer our prayers to Christ our Lord. Praise to some brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grand, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Give up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means for our salvation to Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of you, and eat of it, for 
this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Nicholas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased us throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now let us pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and then forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all these stresses we await, the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. We don't take away the sins of the world. Rest of those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And thanks to all of you for joining us today for our celebration of the Sunday Mass. Uh, special thanks to Father Lionel, to Lacelli, to Christiana, to Mika, to Preston, to Renald, to Rob for leading us and helping us to pray and to celebrate today. Uh, next week is the Feast of Christ the King, the last Sunday of this liturgical year. And as I said, for the last few weeks, it ends the current volume of the prayer guide, uh, the new volume, volume 99, will begin with the first Sunday of Advent. So if you haven't received yours yet or you have never had one and you would like one, either go to the website, give us a call, or send us a note through the mail, and we'll make sure that you get one. You can still continue to send in names uh, for uh, of deceased family and relatives and friends that can be placed next to the altar. Uh, they're here all of the month of November. So have a great week, everyone. And until we meet again next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. <laughs>